Hello guys, welcome back. Um, I'm sitting here in the new M340 LCI with the whole double screen thing going inside, uh, going on inside here. So my thoughts from inside, because the other video I did about this car was from the outside, comparing it to how my current car looks, which is a pre-LCI. And, uh, and just like the X7, the X M340 uh, lost the the gear lever and got this uh, toggle switch and also the P for park is right here which I went over in the X7 that the P for park is hard to find um, when you're not looking down because when there's a gear lever here I could just grab it and press on the button but now I have to look down because I could be just pressing here and not on the actual P so you got to look for it uh, one thing I do like is how more open the top feels. So I definitely noticed the heads-up display hole is there now a lot more. But it feels like the top is flatter. It's more flat across the car. Uh, the side mirrors, the side mirrors are, uh, they're gigantic. I, I'm not sure. I think these are the M side mirrors. Uh, they're on M performance cars now. And this side mirror seems bigger than mine. And also, of course, it has this little fin on here as well. Uh, my car doesn't have this side mirror. I'm just, you know, not sure if you... I mean, I am sitting as low as possible. I like to sit as low as possible. And hopefully this is not so obtrusive. Uh, but it looks cool, right? Uh, another thing that I'd like to mention is I still miss the buttons inside the car. The 1 through 8 buttons that are here in the pre-LCI which you can program just about anything in this screen to the number eight buttons. Now when I drive, I have to think, uh, what, let's say I wanted to do some setting, I had to think, okay, I need to go to the uh, four squares, top left. <laughs> I think I made a joke on that on the last video. The rule now is four squares, top left, to get into your settings. It's like a Windows uh, symbol up here. And once you press that, it lets you in and Let's say I went to live co live live view of the car, and I went to content. So the content's in adaptive right now content. So if you switch the modes uh, when you're in that uh, live view, let's see here. It's also on the main screen. I think this is it. Yeah, I got there through the other way too. Um, so if you have it in live content, you put it in sport mode, it changes how uh, it gives you a sport display up here. Let's see, where is my sport display? Did it vanish on me? Let's start the car. There we go. So there's our sport display. You have torque, horsepower, uh, you have PSI of the turbo, the temperature of the engine, which is a little different uh, than the other car. I like, I, I do like this screen. I do. I, I'm not going to lie. I like the screen. I'm not sure if I like it extended over to this side. And I'm actually glad that there's this space in the middle between these two screens that it that doesn't have anything on it because it seems perfectly uh, aligned with where the steering wheel is. I know I'm weird like that. So there's no information really hiding. You know, you, sometimes you got to go around the steering wheel to check things out because uh, stuff's hiding. Anyways, this car also has the customizable screen uh, instrument cluster, which I press this button here on the steering wheel, and the other car just brought up news. Uh, FM satellite but in this car I press that button and it brings up a whole list of what I'd like to change so contents on the instrument cluster or uh, on the heads-up display which is up there um, so you could choose whatever content you want just like the other car look at that and this car by the way has a semi autonomy and I like the buttons are still on the steering wheel thank goodness you still have buttons on the steering wheel uh, for the adaptive cruise because these buttons are not in the X7. Um, and I think they're still in the i4. Because now in the X7, we're in the M340, My, uh, I'd like to remind you. In the X7, you'd have to go through the screen and find the adaptive cruise area uh, in, the, in the settings, which is mighty frustrating. Anyways... Uh, what else? What else about this car? Do you guys like the new LCI? Oh, it drives a little different, by the way. It drives a little different, and um, it seems more refined 
than my 2022 already, and it's a 2023. Uh, and it's quieter, the engine noise is different. Uh, let's see if I could give it some revs here. Okay, so the engine noise is a little, the synthetic has been tuned much better, and it bangs a lot harder uh, when it's shifting in sport. So it bangs in a, the, the, the exhale of the exhaust is different. Um, it's more bassy than in my car. And before that, the M340 of the 2020, the, uh, the exhaust was like crackling and popping. It was more crisp. Um, another thing too, you have new ambient lighting colors and yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm not going to dive too deep into this car. It's just a brief overview. Five minutes long. Um, I do miss these buttons that were right here. I like the screen. I'm not sure if I like the instrument cluster being a screen as well which is okay. The side mirrors, um, as you can see here, this X3M that's uh, trying to hit me, I can barely see it because the side mirror is so big, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let me know guys what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Please ask questions. All right, toodles.